what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about screen five some more here today and i just want to talk about the reverse of what i see everyone else kind of speculating on with all these movies getting pushed to january 14th 2022 which we know is supposed to be the release date for screen five next year in january uh seeing people speculate that the movie could be pushed out which it very well could be it could be pushed out to avoid all that competition but the other thing that's been happening is a lot of movies getting pushed up a quiet place 2 got pushed up uh godzilla versus kong i think that was a movie that got pushed out another movie recently got pushed up i think it was spiral spiral got pushed up so with those two movies being pushed up it's giving me hope that maybe the same thing will happen with screen five i've been saying that i would prefer screen five to come out in december of this year now given the fact that the movie did film from september it started filming in september of last year it's it's pretty much out of that process the only thing left that's now the only thing that it looks like they're going to be doing is just rendering the film deciding what they want to keep and cut out putting the score in all of that good stuff that you do in post-production and then as far as what was disclosed in, in one of the more recent interviews that came out over the past couple of months paramount should have watched the film by now or people involved in the studio should have watched the film by now and then if the reshoots are a thing then they'll do that but then they'll come back and they'll cut out whatever needs to be cut out keep what needs to be kept and come up with the final product and they should be able to give us something by december of this year i could see screen five getting pushed up i could see it getting pushed to december i don't think there's many films coming out in december everything's going to be a waiting game though they're going to wait and see uh I feel like with Scream 5, we won't find out that's coming out in December until we get closer to December. We're not, I don't think we'll have any word of that like in June or anything. We're going to keep on having this January 14th date for quite some time until we get into the months of October, November, maybe even a little earlier, right around that time frame. And then that would be when they decide to push it up. Now, again, this is just wishful thinking. Uh, it could very well just stick to its January 14th date. It could go beyond that and not come out in January. It could come out in February or something much later next year. Or like I said, maybe it'll get pushed up like Spiral did, like A Quiet Place 2 did. So who knows? I hope it gets pushed up. I think that that would be a good a good thing for the film, uh, depending on, again, the current climate. That's why I think they're going to just wait and see and they'll probably give us a teaser again i'm still thinking that'll come in may and i think that the trailer the full flesh trailer shout out to the person who made this comment in my last video i don't know your name but if you're watching you know exactly who you are they made a comment about the trailer coming out on west craven's birthday as a way to honor uh the late director i think that would be very good to have a teaser in may but then the full flesh trailer come out in august i don't think that's too early because then you'd have september october november and december if they're still going to have it in january but i think they're not going to they're not they're definitely not going to put the trailer out they can give us a teaser but they're not going to put a trailer out we could get something like halloween kills we'll get a couple teasers but not a full-fledged trailer until we know when we're going to put this movie out so i would like to see it on west craven's birthday i think that's a fantastic idea but only if they are going to be keeping january 14th or if it's going to be coming out a little bit sooner in december uh if it's coming out sh months later i would hate for us to have a trailer and then have to let's say the trailer is just fantastic and now we're stuck waiting for something that we got a trailer for in august or september but it's not coming out now till june of 2022 hopefully i did not just jinx anything uh so yeah i think that it could be coming out in december it's always a possibility or it could come out after january 14th because of all those movies that got pushed to that date it has all this competition to expect on january 14th now so it's not too unlikely and i'm going to be on the side of the fence where at least i'll agree that i think the date's going to be changed but i don't think it's going to get pushed out necessarily it's always a possibility that it will i think it's going to get pushed up to december i think that's what we'll do or that's what they'll decide to do Ghostface in december christmas gift for us horror fans back into the screen universe back in woodsboro get another solid entry in this franchise around christmas time depending on what is happening in the world as that month approaches because 
again, they're going to keep on playing this day by day. With all these movies that are coming out, this is going to be how Paramount's going to gauge what they're going to do with this film. We're not going to find out about this movie being pushed out in any capacity for a good minute, I don't think. They're going to wait and see what happens with Godzilla vs. Kong, what happens with Spiral, what happens with A Quiet Place 2, which is a Paramount distributed film, what happens with The Conjuring 3, what happens with every movie that's going to be coming out during the summer, during the fall, during the spring that we're currently in, and then that's when they'll decide, hey, you know what, with all of these movies that have joined us on January 14th, we're either going to push it out or we're going to push it up slightly because there's no movies coming out in December. And with many people flocking to the theater, depending on how this goes, because if there's like a big resurgence in theater going, I think that would then also help them decide to push the movie up to December. If there's no competition currently in December for Scream to compete with, if there's no really big major film coming out in December, then they will most likely push it to December. I don't see them pushing it out or anything like that depending on what happens with tickets and the box office and how these movies that come out later this year this month the next month and throughout the rest of this year perform and what happens financially for them that'll determine what they're going to do with their 2022 slate of films that's what i think paramount will do i don't think we're going to hear anything really until that is being evaluated until we see what happens with these movies that are already set to come out i don't think they're going to do any rescheduling with their 2022 slate just yet especially not screen five they could but i don't think they will i think they're going to wait and see what happens because that's probably what's going to be best for them from a business perspective versus just moving your film out and then let's say you move it out only to find out you could have put it out sooner they're just going to play the waiting game. They're going to play the waiting game like how Universal did with Halloween Kills, how Universal and Blumhouse did with Halloween Kills. I see them doing the waiting game, and they're definitely going to use uh, the response from A Quiet Place 2 to factor into some other things. Because if A Quiet Place 2 performs well, that could be something that would assist with my theory that we could get Screen 5 in December instead of it getting pushed out. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. Down in the comment section, I'll have a link to the Facebook group. You can go ahead and join that group and discuss anything horror-related with everyone in this group. And stay up to date on anything regarding Screen 5 as well, or just share anything. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.